Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am gonna work on getting some journal kits put together for my next retreat that's coming up, my friend Diane's. And so um, that's what we're gonna do today. It's keeping me awake at night, so I need to do something about that. So let's say hi and hugs to Brenda, Siri, Joey, and Carrie, thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, I'm gonna take my sweater off because we're gonna we're gonna work up a sweat with this. I'm just sure of it. Okay, so one journal that I'm gonna do is Joey Cardmaker's Groovy. We've already made one together, and so I thought I'd put this one together um, at the retreat. So. I just want to look and see what I have for um, for the signature because I like to have the signatures all ready to go. Okay, so those are all, these are all um, papers to play with. This is scraps. Okay, scraps. That's another... Okay, this one is going to go on the cover, so that is going to stay there. Okay, I kind of just tossed everything when I was done with the last one. Okay, we've got a master board to work with. That's a good thing. Okay, so let's put these papers and these papers together. Okay, because those are just papers to play with. Okay, so let's put this back in, back in the sack. I had, I was taking up an entire one of my, um, one of my uh, shelves on my project card. I was taking up a whole one with my 60s stuff. Okay, so let's put that, put this back in here, and we're going to get the signature ready here. So this is all stuff to work with. Okay, and there's, there's more. There's a whole nother, whole nother tray of more to work with. But for now, I just want to do the signature. And we'll grab things as we need it. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have these. These lady are, are, are those first or do I want to? Is there one that I need for the middle like that one? Okay. Let's see what this looks like on the inside and kind of mash. This beautiful... Journal covers from Sharon, some sparkle, the name Sharon, and then some sparkle. Okay, so what kind of looks best with that? I don't think. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That's not too bad. I'm kind of liking the top one so far. Oh, no, that's the one. That's the one to go on top, I think. Oh, but that's nice, too. Which one do I like better? I think I like this one better. Okay, so this is going to be the middle. Middle here. Some of these that we're going to go through don't need as much. Um, so... They don't need as much done. They've already got some of their signatures and stuff. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it this way because normally they go opposite each other because they match, but since this is the outside, I can't make it match. So we'll... We'll start that on this one. So this one will be like this, and this one will be 
like that. And then you see they match when you open that page. Okay. The nice thing is everything's all cut out. Everything's ready to go on these. So it'll just be a matter of putting them together, decorating them and stuff. more here and then um, I do have some things already pulled out for oops for um, pages too but there's more that we can look at if we need more pages Joey's kits are very generous though so you don't I mean, you could make a journal with just his pages if you wanted to. That's for sure. Okay. Right. This one goes here. So, like that. Okay. Kind of makes my brain hurt. I'm not going to lie. These pages that face one another, but... But yeah, this one is going to have to be like that. And then we'll get on to the ones that face each other on the pages. Okay. So as far as things that I know that I want in there, I have this, this fun facial sort of paper. Um, it's going to be a bit big. We're going to have to cut it down a little bit. Okay, that's good height wise. Might have to fold the pages in, but I'm not going to worry about that just right now. We'll just put this put this in. Um, I'm going to kind of try and break up these pages that are next to each other like that. Okay, that's from the cosmetology book. I think that'll fit okay. These, this is from an old, an old magazine. I don't feel like they're going to, they're not going to fit that way. I'm going to need to, need to pull them apart a little bit, but that's okay. They're going to go sideways. And this one. The um, reason I do the signatures ahead of time like this is because then I don't have to haul all of my paper options and everything to the retreat. I just have got it, got it already put, that part already put together. Let's go clear back here and put this one. Okay, then we've got our handy dandy little gloves, our cosmetology gloves. <laughs> so I'm going to put one of those in here. And we'll save this one. And this is makeup. Okay, I'm going to fold this better. It's, as my mother would have said, whopper jawed. I don't know what that means except that it's not straight. <laughs> and where she came up with that, I think it's just one of her Iowa sayings. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was whopper jawed. Okay. 
So that will go there. I'm going to use this CB card. I was told that's what this is. I'm going to use that in there too. Let's give it a smoosh with the bone folder. Okay, we've got whopper jawing, we've got smooshing, we've got all manner of things happening here. Okay, there and there. Okay, we need some, we need some other things in here. So what do we have? Um... know what that is that's a time card these are just these kind of wonderful 60s sort of knit things I feel like everybody in our journal is a little more modern like her Does this have a... Yes, it's got staples. Let's pull those out. I'm going to be so happy to have these project carts back so that I can use them. It's going to be great. Oh, I want some of my 60s etiquette book too. But we need some taller pages as well to go with this okay so where was where's my girl there she is okay so we're gonna have some moms in it too <laughs> the mom page okay oh this we need <laughs> for those of you who were freaking out because this is like apparently quite the uh valuable book like it was 125 dollars on ebay or something Actually, I'm just going to take this because those would be better as journal cards. Okay, so I'll put that down with that. Okay, and then I've got a lot left of the cosmetology book, but we've got one page in there already. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I have the music that was sent to me. Um, and that does not have a staple. It's like, ooh, the mamas and the papas. California Dreamin' was one of my favorites. Which one of these? Hair. Mamas and the papas is Ballads of the Green Beret. Chicago, Sound of Music, what do we have here? Bob Newhart, oh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Andy Williams, The Singing Nun, Mary Poppins, Goldfinger. Um, I kind of want to use this one. Yeah, let's use that one. Ouch. Sorry guys, I have a pain in my ear. I took antibiotics and I still have it. I don't know what the deal is. Ooh, these are some yummy papers that we're gonna go ahead and use. Some psychedelic papers. Let's use that one. Let's use the orange one. Okay, and then maybe one of these pieces of music. You've lost that love and feeling. Leaving on a jet plane. Oh, let's use that one because you know what? Oh, I didn't know John Denver wrote Leaving on a Jet Plane. You guys probably knew that. I did not. Um, anyway leaving on a jet plane I sang that in 
in choir when I was in eighth grade. How long are you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that because I kind of want that raggedy edge. Okay, that, that, and that. Ooh, and this is orange on this side. That's cool. Let's go this way. They're kind of tie-dye-esque, let's call them. Ooh, and that one's orange on the back, too. Cool. We'll do this one this way. Okay. So, in here... Definitely want one here. And maybe one in the middle of the signature. And then one kind of let's put one here because that's kind of halfway-ish. Okay, I think, oh yeah, then we've got these two little things. I think I might put this one here. And this one, I'm going to put around the music. that maybe like that and let's put that by the gloves okay there's our signature all done signatures done it's already fat it's gonna be a big journal gonna have to fold those back maybe I'll do that just so that they don't bend as as this is being transported okay and then this goes on the topper okay so and this can go in Definitely want to take that. I don't think I'll need any of these. Better take the mystery date and those cards. So what do we have up here? Oh, I found a piece of scrap of paper that I thought would go with this. And then this looked kind of 60s also. So we'll see if we use those. Here's here's some little trims. Put those in with these trims. I've just been throwing things kind of on the cart. There's my clips. And then there's a little thing here that says peace. So I thought I might use that. Then I have all my fabric. Um, I think I'm going to leave that fabric there and just know I need to make a fabric. Oh, I don't need to make a fabric flip. There's one included. So I don't think I need to take that at all. Um, I think these, I'm just going to take a few of these clips and I want the ones that are flat yeah because I can always grab them when I get home too okay I'll just take four of those in that little baggie okay we are set so I can put these away afterward and get rid of my project Excuse me, I just had to get that out of my way. Now these I want to have go with this. 
way and this can go and I think what I'm gonna do is take the take these stands off and then this will be flat -er. see here's the stand from the other one I feel like there should be something I can do with these so I'm keeping them I just don't know what it is yet hasn't hit me okay great so now we can take the mystery date stuff too and that's all put together ready to go whoops I need the, these two things too ready to go with me okay so those I don't know what I'm doing with all right now what I want to do I'm gonna get rid of this stuff I want to go through my bag because I do I do have some other things that I know I want to do. Okay, so I have this whole packet. The, this is from Wildflower Publishing. And it's just a gorgeous kit, isn't that? There's all those to play with, but then the pages are just gorgeous. So this one needs a cover. So I need to look through my covers for that. So I'm gonna separate these things out so that I know, and then after I film this video, I can, I can find a cover for that one. Okay, and then, then I have this one left from last time. I didn't get it done. It was Joey's Midsummer's Dream journal kit. It's fairies and such, but I've got, I've got pretty much, I think, got the uh, um, signature put together. Yeah, it looks good. And then I, it, I have a couple of pieces of ephemera that's made and then the stuff that is from Joy's kit that can be made up as well. So there's also that one. Let's see if I can get that back in there. Okay. So that one's ready. I worked on this one a little bit at my last retreat. So it's sewn in, just needs more decorating. This is a um, poppy journal. So yeah, I was working on it. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, so this one's, you know, nearly done. Okay. What else? Oh yes. And then I've got... got this one which I think let me look um, not sure who those digitals are by but I mean I've got a good start on this one as well it's not sewn in but yeah okay and it's and it already has its little fabric cover I'm going to try and tell you who this... Oh, Paper Inspirations. Sue at Paper Inspirations. That's where the digital kit came from. Okay, and I have one pocket <laughs> ready to go. Okay, so that one's well in the works like the poppy one. So, I'm not lining those up in order. So then this... This is the um, Rachel and Bella and Angela Kerr kits. These are a garden story. But again, I don't have a cover. I do have a cover. I put covers in here. 
Okay. So apparently I'm going to use these covers. Yep. Okay. So they have to be finished though. Okay. So like I need to, I need to put a paper on the inside. Okay. So there's more work to be done on these. And there's lots of pieces of ephemera to go with those. So I'm just going to put the covers on the top and know that I need to, I need to do the covers and then I need to do the um, signature. So those two are in the works. And um, this one I'm going to leave home because it's just heavy and stuff, but it's a, it's a vintage book. I just have the pages in there to kind of keep its shape. An old Bobsy twin book. And this is, I was going to use an Edwardian Ladies Garden by Chapter One Papers. Because you can see the pages are a bit smaller. And so they're going to fit that pretty well. And this doesn't have anything on the back because. It was sent for an Etsy share. So, this one's going to stay home. Maybe we'll do that, pull that out and do that one day. Okay, but I'm not going to take that with because it's heavy. Okay, then on my desk, <laughs> oh dear, I have... Spring embellishments. Spring, oh, I forget the name of the kit, but it's um, the Junk Journal Studio. Spring Bounty, that's what it is. Spring Bounty, I think. And um, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. I print it on the back. And some of it's Easter and some of it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, and I'm not going to use those bits, but I'm thinking of using these two journal covers for this. So let's go ahead and kind of split this into two and see what we can do with this here. So I was thinking that this would look pretty on the on there so that maybe we'll split up these really pink ones I'm gonna put that with this one um, this one could be here okay so these are kind of by color I think okay now I'm not gonna use this one because it's too Easter. This one will be good. This one will be good. This one will be good. This one's too St. Patrick's Day-ish. This one will be good. This one will be good. The purples are good. This has a, oh, it does have a chick. I'm gonna, no. And then this one has bunnies with eggs, no. That little girl has a bunny, but that's okay. Just talks about springtime. That one's good. This one's Easter greeting. Okay, so these, I may use parts of them for collage or something. And they're printed on the back as well. So anyway, those are going to be extras. Okay. So this is going to go with this one. This is going to go with this one. This. This and this. The other one could have this. This this and then we'll do 
We'll do this one over here and this one over here. And then maybe that one there. Maybe this one here. This one and this one. Then these blue ones. We'll go this one and this one. And this one and this one. So how many does that give us on each side? Whoops, turned those over and didn't on the other one. Okay, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for this one. And then this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well. Perfect. Okay, so we need to do the we need to do the signatures on these ones. Okay. Okay, so more work to be done on these. I did pull out I pulled out some of the ephemera that just needs to be made, like pockets and stuff. I thought maybe we could do that one day before before the retreat gets here, but you know how it is. It's coming fast. Okay, these are more fussy cut. That's what I think I need to do with those. Or they could be pages, I guess. Okay. So let's do this and get a bag for these. And then we know we need to do that. We need to do the signature. And those will go in the things to do pile. Things to do prior to. I have to be very organized for this one too because this is the one where I drive Diane and her daughter. So there's not... There's not a lot of room for extras. Okay. okay, so what's this one? This one, I have my pages out too in order to, to do some of these, I should do it. Okay, this one, what is this one? Is this one just, this one was collage, okay. Got that over there. This one, however, Tracy Fox Birth Month Botanical Collage. Did I print on the back of these? No, I did not. Oh, wait. This one. I didn't print on the back. So I kind of have two here because this one is the um, the Junk Journal Studio. This one is Tracy Fox. But, you know, kind of springy, springy sorts of things. And these are all, that's all scrap from a project. Oh my goodness, it's crazy, isn't it? Okay, so these maybe I'll sew them. That's what I'm thinking. And I could do the same over here. Okay, let's put these together. So these are scraps. I'm just going to put them in you need a big baggie for the junk journal studio. <laughs> the kits are enormous. Okay, but these are scraps from some projects. So I will put those in there like that. Okay, let's put these together. So I think I don't want... Probably 
probably so much pink together. So I'm gonna sew that to that. Make sure it's right side up, Gail. Okay. So there's that one. And these, I don't know what journal cover that I'm gonna use for, with them. <laughs> So we shall see on that. Those two together. This is a gorgeous kit. This one, what is this one called? Do you know? Was this the All Things Roses? I think it might have been. From Junk Journal Studio. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent positive but I think so yeah we're just gonna sew these together so what we're going to do let's put these two together okay and this one and this pink one And, ooh, that's lovely. That's a lovely one. Let's do those two back to back for fun. And let's do this yellow one and this one. And maybe we'll do do this and this. And so those will be ready for me to sew, which is sometimes, sometimes I do a little bit of sewing when I just, I got to charge my phone after making videos. Before I go upstairs, I plug in my phone and then I do some sewing. So those will be good. There's that set. And then I need to find um, some covers for them. Okay, these are awesome too. That one. Yeah, so like I say, this one is Tracy Fox. Oh, it's, yeah, it's in order of the birth days, but that's okay. I don't want to, don't want to worry about that. I just want to put ones together that I want to put together. And I'm not going to use this one. This one's Christmas, so I put it with my Christmas stuff. Okay. I'm just going to randomly kind of put these back to back so that we can sew them. So see, then that makes five pages and then I can do some fun other pages in there. Okay, so there's those two that need to be sewn. What's this stuff? Oh yeah, the little the little girl. I don't know. I think she needs to be she needs to be filed. This I was making something out of. That's going to go in unfinished ephemera. And this was blue. And I was thinking it would go with the blue one. So I'm going to tuck it into that bag. All right. And these need to be refiled. Okay, so then I've got a few... Yeah, we've got like 20 minutes. So I have all of my... These are my pre-done pages, quite a few of those. And I wanna see 
what they might go in. So since they're handy, let's just let's just grab these and we'll put the pages with them in order to fill the journal once we figure out what the cover's going to be. <laughs> okay. So, let's just look through. And as we're looking through, we might see something that we go, oh, that'll go with that journal. I've already seen one. This one would go well with the spring journal. So, I'm going to just just going to pop this into the spring journals bag and kind of put it just going to put it right there okay this one would go good with the blue so I'll stick that in that bag okay now this came to me from someone but it's very much spring colors, so I think I'll put that with the spring. Um, this one, I think this would go well with this one. And what else do we have? Have a bunch of those. Um, I think this one could go with this yeah i think that'd be okay okay i'm gonna see what else is in here okay that's just page edge and some plain things oh this goes This one's roses. It's a bit too red for the other one. Okay. This one could go with this one over here. This one's got aqua. It's going to go over here too. That one will go with that one too. I'm finding a lot for that one over there. This one's fall. So no to that one. Okay. Let's grab out this. Very grungy. Ooh, this is this is blue. That could go with the blue. Is that I'm not sure why that's in the pages? Oh, that is from the journal maker. Okay, well, I'm still going to put this with the blue journal. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that one. I think this one, let me just look real quick here again. I think those two would go well with the one from Wildflower Publishing. This one. Yeah, I think those would go well with that. Okay. Got little Italian book pages. I need to make a Tim Holtz journal because that would go with that. That's on my list of my brain to do. Okay, here's a blue one. Yep. Alright, let's see what else do we have here. I think that one could go with this one over here. This one. 
This one I think will go with this one again. Yeah. All right, now. bad over here is it I'm gonna do that okay let's see where we are okay got some of the 20 pages from Lori at STL fine this one and I think one of these wallpapers might be nice in Okay, this one can go in this roses one. This one. Mm, it's just a little bit, a little bit vintage for what I was thinking. Oh, here's one that says bulbs. Yeah, that's a fun plant one. Um, let's put that with this. Okay. And is, what else is in here? Let's see what wallpaper's in here. Gosh, I'm feeling that one for that. And this one, not. Okay. We are to the Mamagami paper. That's where we are in our pages. Let's see, maybe I'll just grab a big hunk here. Mamagami paper. It's kind of the wrong colors. I need to make some more Mamagami just because. Not feeling the mamagami for this one, so. And this one. That's a fun one. Birds. I think that one will go with this one. This one has the vellum pockets, as does this one. And. This, this one will go with the one with the roses. Okay. Oh, this one could maybe go with this one. Yeah. If once I put the signature, signatures together, if I end up not using them, and then I'll just pop them back in here. Oh, all of these are um, doilies. Nope, I don't think so. It's this one. Oh, the bird. It's got this little flip out. There's a bunny one. We should do these again. I might leave that out. Maybe we'll do that. Um, I don't know. I know what's there if I need to look at it. Okay, no. 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 This is a cool old piece of, two pieces of onion skin. I swear the onion skin was even thinner back then. And, no. These are just all dyed pages. Okay.
kind of feel like there should be something, one of these that this would go with. Oh, you know what? Oh, I already got one for this, though. But does this go better? I'm going to put that one in there. I'll leave them both, and then whatever I don't use will get put back. Okay. Don't think there's going to be any. Yeah, maybe. These are all the jelly print pages. This one might go with the blue. I'm going to put it with the blue. most of those for these. Okay, so then let's just grab this batch. Batch of stuff. I'm going to put this with this one. Oh yeah. That little fox. I haven't been able to use that anywhere. This one can't. I'm, my poppy one is full. Oh, that one's together. I'm going to put that with the jelly printed ones. No, no, no. More book pages. <laughs> it's a waxed one. Oh, these are so awesome. I need to do that. I need to do some more of that. I do, I do. This one with the heart pocket. Just looking around at what's would that be kind of fun in the 60s journal? Hmm, I don't know. I might put it with that just in case. Not that I don't have enough in there. But I'm going to stick that in because I think that might be kind of nice in that. Okay, what else do we have? fabric, lace. This is a nice springy lace one. Put that over there. Actually, I'm going to put this over here and this one over there. And then I've just got ruffles on the edges. Got that and that. Nope. Then we've got lots of pages from Rhonda without an H. So I'm feeling like the green ones would definitely go with the spring ones. That one. Um. This one, there's some kind of avocado-y looking ones. Let's put one of those with this one. And the blue, don't really have anything blue. Take that back. One might go. And green, green. Okay. 
All right, so I think we've gone through that. And this one had like five pages, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there might be a few other, let's, um, do I have time? Yeah. Let's grab some of Vernie's lace. Because these could be nice with all of these too. Ooh, look at this one. It smells so good. So this is Triple V Vintage. So we put that one with this one. And I think we'll do this one with the one to my right. That'll be good. And then mm, so gorgeous. I think I'll do this one with the Junk Journal Studio Journal. I do think I'll be able to sleep tonight now that these are kind of somewhat on the way. Let me use this one in the Wildflower Publishing one. Then I've got the two blue ones. Let's use these two in there. And the two blue ones. Um, yeah, at least I know, because it was all jumbling up in my mind, you know. I know, I knew some of them needed covers and such, but yeah, my cover covers are clear across the room, so I'll have to... I'll have to grab those another another day and decide what to do with those. Okay. Okay, guys. I think I am going to call that a video. I've got sewing to do, obviously. And, yeah, a little, a little more work to do. But we'll get ourselves organized and have it all in the bag and ready to go. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your weekend. Have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.